Hey, what's up? This is Coach Luca. We're here at the Kettlebell Club, and I'm gonna be showing you some amazing Turkish get-up variations. The Turkish get-up is a full body movement. It works really everything. You take a weight from the ground, and you work your way up to standing. It's also very old school and primitive. It just feels great when you do it. So I wanna show you guys some great variations that you could start incorporating in your training for fun and variety. We're gonna start with the most basic of get-up variations in the one that we teach at Strong First. It's the full get-up. The get-up we teach at Strong First is a seven-step movement. It has the floor press, the roll to elbow, the tall sit position on the hand, the low sweep which brings you to the open half kneeling, the hip hinge which brings you to the half kneeling position and the lunge up to standing. Then you will reverse those actions step by step. The next variation is the partial get up is a focus on going heavier and just working to the elbow. This one is gonna work your midsection a lot more and we do see an advantage when you work this exercise for martial artists. It's very similar to uh, wrestling positions, such as in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So if you're a martial artist, make sure to include the partial get up in your training. The next variation of the get up is we use a low bridge and also a high bridge, which works on the engagements of the lats and also the glutes, which is very important for function and mobility. So this is a great variation that we, we use doesn't replace the full get-up itself, so you, I would suggest going a little bit lighter, but it's also a nice variation to add in to your training. The reverse get-up is starting from the top, working your way down to the floor and coming back up. So we start at the top and we finish at the top. This is very nice to include to make sure that your get-up is in top shape that all the steps, you nail them down, and it sort of foolproofs the get-up. Because it changes things up, starting instead of from the ground, you start at the top, it refreshes the movement for people. This is also a very old school strongman movement that old timers used to lift up a, a weight, either a dumbbell or a kettlebell or a barbell, press it overhead, or do even a bent press, and reverse the motion, lay it down and stand back up as a feat of strength. Adding a press in between each step of your get up is really nice. You get to work your strength and your in between strength at every level of the get up. Really a nice variation to do. Another really nice variation that you can include as part of your warm up or do it as variety day is to include an arm bar before doing the get up itself and at the top of the get up doing a hip windmill movement with the kettlebell overhead. This is really nice, it adds a bunch of variety for uh, mobility, stability everywhere throughout your body. The following version is a full get up with an added overhead carry. This is nice because you spend more time under tension and you're working that overhead stability when you want to improve, let's say, a press or a snatch. Um, this is a, another great variation to add. This next one takes a lot of hip mobility. It's a get up, but in a squatting pattern. So the get up to squat. Uh, you'll see me, I have a lot of hip and ankle mobility and you also need T-spine and overhead mobility as well. So it's really a nice variation for those that can. If you can't go down into an overhead squat uh, deep, uh, you may want to omit this. The tactical getup is great for uh, special operators, gun carrying professionals, firefighters, 
or anyone that's an operator that has to get up without the use of their hands. What's nice about this variation is you do not have to use your hands as much to get up, but you are using more your legs and it does require more hip mobility at the same time. It's a little quicker way to get up in my opinion. That's why we call it the tactical version. This next one is called the SOS Get Up, also known as the skill of strength. It's Mike Perry that came up with this. It's a really nice variation that includes the tactical frog and with a kettlebell overhead. So you do need a lot of T-spine hip mobility and it really challenges you in different ways. Some, you could call it uncommon movements that you don't usually do or see. It's great for a martial artists that uh, wrestle or have to get into awkward positioning and get stronger in them. This last variation, it's called the gladiator get up. It's a really fun variation, which needs a lot of mobility, stability, and coordination. So I do recommend you go on the lighter side when you do practice this uh, fun yet challenging variation. So I hope you really enjoyed my video on the get up variation. Make sure that you include uh, one or several variations into your training. Take the time to practice and learn them and do them correctly, safely and strongly. Make sure you like and comment on my video below and I'll catch you next time.